We find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison. Mr. Box. So you're gonna... <laughs> Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. and get back on the outside quick and easy? <laughs> You're a murderer. You could act like a god angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <laughs> Not much to say, huh? <laughs> hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? <laughs> I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone off now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so cute. Buster, I'll kill you! Try your best, though. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. They were talking about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. 
Well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Apparently it's from someone important. It's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Uh, you really thought the welcome... Huh? Of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. I gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got. 
waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? I uh, used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, that's what everyone thinks when they get out. Shut up, you know You were born and raised in Kamarocho. After the owner, Jiro Kasuga took you in. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Dojo clan's Arakawa family, well, until the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great, whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's oh, some paying a visit to the Arakawa family. It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now you're free to go wherever you feel like, but. I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What the... To my hair! Uh, I tried! It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? you going for, man? Shut up! I just... the hell's your deal, anyway? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you, but I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? Dude, you're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay. So... Who killed You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? I I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? 
I know that 18 years ago, Susan Mori was shot and killed. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a big pain in the ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? My angle. <laughs> well? Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why you ask it? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumb You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! The battle is on! You're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas. We're sorry, okay? Now, my friend here, he's... He's a little crazy, that's all. What the hell you say about me? Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga!
Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? No way! He didn't forget me! I mean, sh He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. Well, he definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand. It's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Suzumori's grave! And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi Chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys... Oh, listen here, old-timer. Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is... What are you talking about? I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He called it the Kamracho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. There was just one exception. Huh? The, ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The, basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, you... <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's been... I'm sorry to tell you all this, but don't let it get you down, you okay? Nothing is all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Harakawa-san defecting to the Omi? You know what? You're a terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like Harakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He... That wasn't Arakawa-san! 
I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. Where are you taking me anyway? We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Komurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. Now come with me to Yokohama. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. Oh, f off! I should have helped you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture. My jurors know what? Stop the car right now! Or else I'll f up! Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, is that right? Yeah. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you. Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? Ha! You think I'm gonna fall for that? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? Kamurocho, obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, oh, you are such a I have to go find Arakawa-san now. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. I promise, Kasuga, there's nothing left for you in Kamurocho! Oh, damn it. 